We are in the holy month of Ramadan. Muslims across the world will be observing a fast for the next 30 days. But what about Muslims who are not living in this world? Don't be confused. I'm simply talking about Sultan Al Nayadi, who is a Muslim astronaut currently in the International Space Station. He faces a problem when it comes to breaking his fast. Unlike here on Earth, there are 16 sunsets and sunrises on the International Space Station, which means it's hard to know when the fast should be broken. This is an unprecedented problem because no Muslim astronaut is staying as long as Sultan Al Nayadi in space. But luckily, Sultan himself had given a possible solution before taking off for his mission. Our next report is telling you what that solution is. We leave it there. Thanks for watching. Good night. It's the holy month of Ramadan. Muslims around the world will be fasting for the next 30 days. The sunrise is their cue to begin fasting. The sunset is their cue to break it. But what if your day has 16 sunsets? That's the dilemma facing Sultan Al Nayadi. He's an astronaut from the UAE and his current address is the International Space Station. Al Nayadi is part of a SpaceX mission that launched earlier this month. He will stay on board the ISS for six months, becoming the first Arab person to do so. Safe to say, the pressure and expectations are huge. This is the essence of uh, space exploration. The UAE is taking uh, great steps towards uh, pushing the boundaries of exploration. Less than a dozen Muslim astronauts have been to space. Even fewer have stayed longer than a month. So, Al Nayadi faced a tricky question during the month of Ramadan. Does he fast or not? The ISS is hurtling around the earth at more than 27,000 kilometers per hour. Its speed and orbit gives astronauts 16 sunrises and sunsets in 24 hours. So, starting and ending the fast becomes tricky. In January, Al Nayadi was asked about his plans for Ramadan. The fasting is not uh, compulsory if you're uh, uh, like uh, feeling uh, not well. So, in that regard, anything that can jeopardize the mission or maybe put the crew member uh, in a risk, uh, we're actually allowed to to eat sufficient food and to prevent any uh, escalation of lack of food or nutrition or, or hydration. As Al Nayadi explained, he comes under the Islamic definition of a traveller. And for travellers, fasting is not compulsory. Plus, he doesn't want to jeopardise the mission with any nutrition or hydration issues. But what if he changed his mind? Or what if another Muslim astronaut down the line chooses to observe the fast? In that case, the best option would be to follow a standard time. Unified uh, timing, we use the GMT time, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, uh, because it's really difficult to track the time depending on the sun or uh, the beginning of the day, because we see literally 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every day, which is uh, happening every 45 minutes. And if we depend on that, it's going to be really difficult for us. Uh, so yeah, we have 24 hours, but it's uh, GMT time. As Al Nayadi himself explained in a recent video from space, astronauts on board the ISS use the GMT or the Greenwich Mean Time. As space becomes a more accommodative place for people of all races, religion and gender, such questions will keep popping up. The answers will only come with time.